All right, hello everybody, welcome back. Kind of got a little cut off there last time, so uh, it's hooked up to that cedar that we just bought. Now we're getting ready to buy a trailer for that mower. Uh, it just because we'll make it easier. So, uh, where are we? So the room color, you can change the room color to whatever. I got mine in chrome, main color. I kept it black. Uh, yep, you can change it to whatever. Design color is going to be if you have uh, an enclosed trailer. So right now I got the deck. You can put on a gas tank. You can enclose it. And then enclose with gas tank. And the deck. Worked. I'm not going to go through them all. You can. You got the wheel set up, so there's whatever. Multiple wheel setups. This one, like, like. Uh, like this is slightly actually yeah it looks like this so that's kind of weird like this is one of those ones where uh, you automatically add stuff on you get the cost of the trailer and then there's the add-ons for whatever else so it's like if you want a deck and not a hole in your uh, in your trailer I guess then uh, you have to pay a thousand dollars and if you want to be able to tow it you gotta pay a thousand dollars so there's bumper pull and raised bumper pull. I'm not really sure. <sighs> I'm not entirely sure which one I'm gonna need, so I'm just going with the the regular bumper pull for now. And then the floor you can do wood or a couple different types of like metal. I'm gonna go with the wood. So there we go. So now we should probably jump in the F-250, I suppose. Take him down to the shop and pick up the trailer with the mower on it. I think I could have went out there, but... Then go from there to see where... And we'll start mowing. And I, like, I, even myself, like, I haven't watched... I've only used that mower, or those mowers once, and... Watched whatever mod videos review videos a long time ago when it came out so I'm pretty sure it, like you can change where it spits out the grass swath like you can do left right type thing maybe even middle I can't remember so let's get up to this thing I guess we could have probably done the raised. So let's get over here. Then unfold short trailer for transport of lawnmowers. Okay, there we go. Those levers running. Get the mower. Start this guy. I'm not sure if you need to go forward or backwards, so we're just gonna try going forward. Some of these types of trailers you uh Actually, probably can fit a. Probably should be. I never use these mowers or these trailers, but probably should be using these trailers. So far, in my opinion, that's like. I mean, this guy is a TLX guy, 82 squared, whatever. Like, his mods like look amazing, but it's kind of more like a for me at least. Oops performance based wise thing like some of them like I said like the TLX is kinda they drive a little crazy sometimes and so does so does this mower it's one of those ones where like it turns like zero turns it turns perfectly great like if you're going slow but if you're going fast or full speed of the mower like it tries to do donuts I got myself in a little quagmire here now alright now before I get more lost, where are we actually going? Because we own these two meadows over here now, so. Yeah. So probably go. Oh, like I said, it's right behind the shop, so we'll just start cutting up this field, I guess. So, how do I get to it the correct way? Oh, it looks like I could just. How convenient. And I'm not going to make that turn. Oh my god, I made it. No, I didn't. Got caught on something. 
So perfect. Oh, actually not perfect because it's all fenced in though. So how do you uh, get into that field? Alright, let's figure that out. That's it, that was simple. So this guy over here. Shut her down. Open that up. Turn it back to this guy. I'm gonna bring him back to the farm. Fill this up. Get him ready to start working. But first, which I am going to see if it's easier going in one of those other. I know it's quite a bit easier going in the like, front gate. Easier turning in here. It would have been if actually, like, that's what I could do. That's probably how you can use, get around with bigger equipment is go around there. Aha. Uh -huh. This is awesome. This is free. <laughs> All right. Get this guy out of here. Yeah. See how I like even just that like made it wanted to like whip around. So unfold more. Yeah, let's do that. Turn on more lift front motor tutor, lift front motor arm. Which I don't know why, like, I don't even... Right and left stick. Up and down. Yeah, I'd say I don't even have front loader on anyway, so... Not sure why it gives me the option. Extend front motor arm. But yeah, that was that one. Uh, I guess you can't. Wait a minute. Oh, there it is. Turn on there. I guess you can't, like, uh, <coughs> decide where it's going to spit out. So I'll we'll just turn it on and see where it goes. Yep, so it's going to spit out on the right-hand side over there. I could have sworn you could. Uh, I don't care. But I could have sworn you could change that. So, yeah, like, it'll mow at 17 miles an hour, so that's one good thing. But try and take a turn like that. Good luck. <laughs> and stuff like this, this I guess this is why you would want like uh like to the left of me, like up against the sides of the fences and stuff like that. Like if you were really picky about it, you want like that's why you would get one of the other ones that just mows it and doesn't leave a swap, swap or anything like that where you need to pick it up because I mean that would be pretty difficult to uh, pick it up with something so see how big this field is pretty big field so see how we want to do this like as in what do we want to do we want this just grass or do we want to make this hay or turn this into silage or Woo! It gets a little wacky. Okay. Awesome. 
little sweet and it can kind of I still can basically drive next to the swap and it's going to split next to me so this actually I mean this is pretty nice it gets the job done real quick because you can go faster and see like that I mean you can zero turn it if you're going slow I gotta start using these more often too because this is pretty now that I'm using it now it is it is overall it's really nice it's a two and a half meters so it's almost almost the size of a, a mower you get attached to tractor and this obviously means you don't need an additional tractor uh, you can drive it to wherever you want to go if you need be but otherwise it fits on low loaders and stuff and mows it three times the speed <laughs> I think it is six miles an hour too like when you're doing uh see how many times we can actually go around in a lap before it screws it up This is a pretty big, uh... So yeah, in instances like that where you're just going in a straight line, this would be great. It's working out pretty good. <laughs> then you got this one that just came up recently too. It's under small tractors though, it's not under mowers I think we, I have that in one of the maps you get this guy and then you can put like a mower deck underneath it but that's gonna be, it will be slower and it's only like one meter or one and a half meter that's the one I'm gonna start using for like animals and stuff because there's a 3,000 liter trailer that kind of goes with it that you can buy. And you can put a front loader on it, so... I've never tried, like, picking up bales or anything with it, but... It would be good for cleaning up pens and stuff if you didn't use the... I like to use that sweeper thing that I have for the thread. But that little John Deere thing, riding mower, would be another alternative. Because I think the bucket only holds 400 liters. Sweeper's a lot cheaper. It's like $6,000 or something. And it holds 1,200 liters or something like that. Yeehaw! So it looks like this video is basically just going to be mowing because I don't want to see this late in the evening. And this is a big field so I don't think I'll get completely done mowing it. And at the very least going to do whatever I feel like doing with it. I think we should keep this one grass and then do like I've done other places like store some of it and put the us and other in like the uh, bunker to make silage out of it and then we can go over to this one and turn this one into hay if that's not I can't remember if that I think that's like the, the cow's actual like pen though I don't like going in where the animals are and mowing the grass. I mow the fields. This is where I'm going to have to... Probably have to stop doing that because I don't want to go across that small line with the loading wagon. 
That's the last time we'll do that over there. So I have to turn it off and just turn around. Cutting everything now, though, but sounds pretty good, too. Woo! See, it's it's kind of nuts. <laughs> what the steering is nuts. I mean, I'm sure it's like that in real life, though, because you steer with those these handles and stuff. So, oops, and I did what I said I didn't want to do. I know. Maybe. Oh yeah, it's at the top of the other one. So that's where we'll do our zero turn and just come right back. But now I'm spinning it back onto the same swath. Probably won't be an issue, but... <laughs> so, let's do this. Yep, it looks like you can, yeah, there's a water pump right there, so you should be able to get water from there. Is that another, another sign that says don't drink the water? Yep, no drink, no drinking water. Not drinking water. Be difficult. All right, last time trip we're here. And we won't be able to pick it up. This is when I wished I would have had a larger loading wagon. Is that when we are going to be back and forth 300 times? Why is the baler too? Maybe we can bale bale grass and hay and use the loading wagon for straw. And now where do we want to go? around the lake.
next question is do we even have a uh, bunker? I never paid attention. like using a steering wheel. It's like trying to drive this thing. I have a steering wheel too, but I haven't hooked it up. I don't know if I want to. It was a T300 RS, but I barely used it. Because as lazy as I am, it's a process to uh, remember to plug it in before we turn on my PlayStation and everything. And whatever table it's connected to, like move the table in front of where you need to be. I almost got this field mode. trying to go over here. Good enough over there. One side. Go straight, man. Uh oh. Get stuck. Done. Yeah, this is going to be a ton of grass. How much is silage worth?
feel like that's the uh, the cow's pen. No, maybe not. Awesome. It's a big old field. Next client's over here, buddy. on the right. Actually, that would probably be pretty good if we started right here. I guess I will. It's so short over here, I didn't really want to do this section. turning or tedding anyway. Alright, so that's yeah then we can see what that is out in the middle of the field and then anyway, but I'm just stalling for a second because the video is basically gonna end here in a second, so uh thank you for watching and subscribing. And we shall see you soon. So which one do I want? I mean, 14 might be just as easy to do. Yeah, we'll do 14 wheat. Because you'll get a lot. I'll get a lot of straw off of it. And it's straight straight down that way. I'm way too high up. We're not going to sew it now, but let's just get this guy over there. Even though it's going to be night soon, we should have just left him at the farm. This one of the one that I already cultivated, though. Yeah, this is one of the ones I already cultivated. So this might be kind of defeating the whole purpose. Not necessarily, though. I guess we'll just 17 is the only field we'll sow with that other other cedar. We'll just do the rest with this. We just wasted. So I'm gonna pull a little bit forward. It's not going to get all that anyway. We don't necessarily want to uh, turn it on now either. Seventeen, right? Yeah, the first field. We'll do that one, soybeans. 